today is the day guys. We are officially starting the build for the Sling TSI and today basically I'm going to build the empennage which is the back tail of the airplane and as you can see right behind me here is all of the uh, parts and components we're going to be using. I'm super excited. This is <laughs> It's like three years in the making and I want to thank everybody who's followed the journey so far. Stay tuned. Today's video is brought to you by ColdFlight. ColdFlight is an amazing platform that allows you to log in all of your records. You can create new squat codes for your aircraft. It notifies you whenever you have something due or maintenance due for your airplane. And that way you don't have to worry about anything add new owners and members or even create a digital copy of your logbook when you download the cold flight app you'll be able to have access and do all of these things with a mobile app make sure you check out cold flight today you can use the referral link to get 90 days free that's right if you use the referral code mojo grip you have 90 days absolutely free to vet this platform the website is coldflight.com okay mike so we're going to start on the vertical stabilizer. And the good reason for starting on that is it's a fairly straightforward structure just to get build confidence. Okay. And to have a look, because it uses all the tools and the techniques that we use throughout the whole airplane. Okay. Um, we've taken a little bit of liberty and started this morning on the construction. But um, we've got, these are the manuals that came with a kit and these are the latest updated manuals on Dropbox. Now any kit builder should get familiar with Dropbox and use Dropbox. So we started off this morning, Lee helped us, and we basically did this element like that. And that's this just, one right here? Yes. It's that element and that element put together. If you have a look, those two rib nuts are there, and all those rib nuts that they speak about there are put mm -hmm. in there. Okay. The rib nuts are put in, they put in with uh, high strength Loctite just to help them never turn. Okay. And rib nuts are basically threaded nuts that get put in wherever you need to put screws in. So that, those two elements are done. You're gonna get hands on practice now with dimpling. Um, okay. So if you have a look, just for the viewers, uh, these are dimpling, okay. this is dimpling. Now, we the, the front edges of the wings and all the flight surfaces and the fuselage on the TSI are dimpled. The reason for that is to try and reduce uh, drag, skin drag. So okay. we've gone ahead, we've done some, some of the dimpling, but now you're gonna do, do some dimpling on these parts. Okay. Um, let's go over to the dimpler there. This is the dump. Yeah. So now, the airplane factories actually made these dimples. That's a specially made dimple die. Okay. Most, most of the, or all of the rivets that the builder does on the um, TSI are pulled rivets or blind rivets. Okay. Now the reason the factory had to make these dimple dies is the angle of the dimple is different to what a solid rivet is. And from aircraft spruce, you would get solid rivet dimples. So we had to make these up so that the pulled rivet sits very, very comfortably and snug with the, with the, in the dimple. Okay. So very straightforward, you can perhaps get a close up of this, um, is that goes in and we just squeeze it and there's your dimple. Oh. Perfect. Okay. Um, so you do that for every? Every hole. So.
let's move on. You want to quickly build a vertical stabilizer? Yes, sir. So, do we need to dimple more stuff, or let, let's 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 have a look? That's a good question. If you look on the on the drawings, um, it's very clearly marked out in the drawing here. If you look at this, there's a oh, so circling around, and it says dimple. Okay. So we there are two dimple sizes. Five. Let's have a look at this. Does it have the number on them or no? Which like number? see how it's saying uh, num five, six. Number five yeah. will go to, and that's a good question. It's good for us. And that's the whole idea of starting with a simple component. You, right. You get to know the manuals, you get to know those, so that when you get deeper down, you're not learning the manual, you actually know how the manual and the part number works. Okay. Um, so let's go back. So five, we'll go part number five, vertical stabilizer, front spark. Obviously, it's easier to put a number. Right. The part number is vertical stabilizer channel 002. XK and that's what you look for? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, um, again, in the introduction that we looked at yesterday, there it runs through the part number, how the part number works, if it's a channel, if it's an angle, if it's a skin. Okay. You know, we can look at that in more depth later. But, so, let's have a look at this. If we look here as our component, dimpling goes right all the way from the top down to and your eye also gets used to reading reading drawings but if you have a look it stops Whoa. there if you look at those holes oh the there's front, a hole that there's those holes there oh, right. okay, and they cool. start there oh, so we the have other, the dimples yeah, already the other giveaway is those holes were smaller than, than those holes oh okay so drilling them up to start clearing a hole if you had to look at this now after dimpling if you looked at that very closely microscopically the the, the skin would actually as you dip pulled it, right, that it the inner in. edge would actually tear slightly. Okay. So the, the thing we've got to do now is just clear, drill all these. That'll clean up a hole. So if you look, there's the dimpled hole. Start off at 2.8 millimeter. That's the 3.2 millimeter derivative. Doesn't quite go in. And you just clear drill that, and it still doesn't go in. I just. I think I might have the. No, okay, there you go. There's a nice tight fit. So, okay. um, let's see. I just grab this tool. So. Just make sure. There we go. That's good, good, good. Okay. You want to just. Get the feel of that and do a few of those. Okay, you've done one, two, three. Yep. You're almost taking off nothing. So I think in a lot of kits, all the holes are drilled undersized and they need to be drilled. Oh, yeah? On the sling kits, everything is sized. Only the dimple ones, for the reason I've explained now, that need to be updrilled. And it's ready. You can see there's almost nothing. It's just clearing the hole. Guys, so just to give you another quick round of everything going on here, you can see there other slings being built you got one two and then mine is three mine is the freshest one off the block and there's still stuff you know for all the builders and this is a recently completed sling tsi uh, and i this thing is beautiful up close see the revente that's the uh brand of the the owner of the airplane okay i i did a review on this airplane recently but this is what I'm hoping to to be up to, you know, in another seven, eight months of thousands of hours put into this. More like a thousand hours or a thousand and a half. And so they're they're just working on this. Uh, but this airplane is already done. It's flying, um, and the owner is just building hours at this point. But anyway, uh, so let's get back to our build over here and finish up this empennage tail. Let's start okay. off on this. So, a little bit of quick, have you ever pulled a rivet? Yes, I think I did earlier today. Okay, here, with us, yeah? 
Yep. Yes. Okay. So our two drums. Well, actually, no. I think I, I didn't pull a rivet. I pulled you a. You pulled a clicker. I pulled a clicker. Yeah. I Mike, was... soon you're gonna know the difference between a clicker and a rivet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Wayne showed uh, you how to my words. These on. Yes. So we want to do. That's a small hole. It's a big hole. Okay. So a little bit of talk about rivets. So the diameter of that is 3.2 or 1 eighth of an inch. Okay. And that is 4 millimeter or? 532 inch. Yes. 532. Exactly. Yeah. Good. Okay. okay. You look at the mandrel. There's a mandrel thickness difference. Yeah. If we use the big nose nose That's for the little it. mandrel it'll work it'll pull it but two things are going to happen one it's going to scar the front of the rivet and mm. two the mandrel is going to start getting stuck in there because the the the, the nose section release it, it, it um, governs where the, the the jaws release that okay. so you don't want to be lazy and just use one rivet gun you want to change over and use the two when we start doing big things like the wings we we'll actually have a wide piece only and we have both rivet guns so we don't have to keep changing this this is a small one this is finding our way with it okay so we're going to start off with the four millimeter rivet it's good go for it i love it and it's, yeah and more or less square you know you don't want to go at an angle but okay you can't uh oh i'm gonna say one of them fuck it up too bad <laughs> that just falls don't worry We'll just sweep afterwards. I wonder what happened to the backs of the... Uh oh. That oh. one is slightly... That, look what happened. Oh shit. See, okay, <laughs> this is where you took a pound of sunk rivet. Okay? Oh! Out of there. So, my bad. My bad, I'm not properly oops, organized. Oops! It happened. <laughs> so, you know what we got to do now? We need to get a new empanage kit. No, 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 please no. So just guys, what components. just happened, just if you can we'll see, the this... Yeah, it'll only take six months. I just okay. used the wrong yes, rivet. Wrong rivet. Literally on the third no, try. No, but it's good. It's good because we show you there's no big deal. All you do is... Okay. Okay, good. So freaking Pop those. All right, let's yeah, get so back to this. Right the... Yeah, it doesn't even... Matter. guys more update so we are about five hours in and this is what I got <laughs> this is five hours worth of work <laughs> right here and then actually the, the skin the skin here so we did some dimple riveting to make them flush once you put the rivets in there oops back to the camera so Again, we dimpled these, uh, and hopefully, once we're once we're done with uh, completing all the stuff that goes. So, what we just did, for example, before we close this off with the scan, we needed to put the electrical wire for the lights in here. Um, so, once we're done with all of this with the skeleton, then we um, we put the skin on it. And boom, our empanage is complete. Okay, so keep watching. 